This is Lesson 6.3, Elimination Using Addition and Subtraction. Your objectives are to solve systems of equations by using elimination with addition and to solve systems of equations by using elimination with subtraction. To solve with elimination, follow these steps. Number one, line up both equations the same. Your x's, then your y's, then your equals, and then your constants. Step two, find a variable with the same coefficient in each equation. Three, if the signs are different, add the equations together. And if the signs are the same, subtract the equations. Four, solve the equation for the remaining variable. And last, substitute that value into either equation and solve for the other variable. Use elimination to solve each system of equations. Number 1. x plus y equals negative 4 and x minus y equals 2. First, make sure the equations are lined up. You have the x's, then the y's, then the equal sign, and then the constants. So now we select a variable to eliminate. They need the same coefficient. The x's have the same coefficient, and the y's have the same coefficient. We could do either one, but let's choose the y's. So we'll eliminate the y's. Since the signs on the y's are different, we'll add these two equations together. x plus x is 2x. y plus negative y is 0 then your equals and negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2. Notice how the y is eliminated. Now we have one equation with just one variable. Let's solve for it. Divide both sides by 2 and x is negative 1. Now take that negative 1 and substitute it into either equation. Take your pick, it doesn't matter. We'll do the first one. x plus y equals negative 4. And since x is negative 1, we'll substitute that in. And now solve for y. Add 1 to each side. And y is negative 3. Then write your solution as an ordered pair, x comma y, negative 1 comma negative 3. Number 4, negative 3x minus 4y equals negative 1, and 3x minus y equals negative 4. Everything's lined up, your x's, then your y's, then your equals, and then your constants. Pick a variable with the same coefficient. The x's have the same coefficient, 3. Now look at the signs. One's negative and one's positive, so the signs are different, so we'll add these equations together. Negative 3x plus 3x is 0. The x is eliminated. Negative 4y plus negative y is negative 5y equals negative 1 plus negative 4 is negative 5. The x is eliminated. Now solve the remaining equation for y. Divide both sides by negative 5. And y is 1. Now substitute 1 in for y in either equation. It doesn't matter which one you choose. We'll do the second one. 3x minus y equals negative 4, and y is 1, so we'll substitute 1 in for y. Now solve that equation for x. Add 1 to each side. 3x equals negative 3. 
and divide both sides by 3, x equals negative 1. Now put your final answer in an ordered pair, x comma y, so negative 1 comma 1. Number 7. 2x plus 2y equals negative 2 and 3x minus 2y equals 12. Everything's lined up. Now find a variable with the same coefficient in each equation. The y's have the same coefficient. The signs are different, so we will add these equations together. 2x plus 3x is 5x. 2y plus negative 2y is 0. The y is eliminated. Equals negative 2 plus 12 is 10. Now solve that equation for x. Divide both sides by 5. And x equals 2. Now substitute x into either equation. Put it in the first one. 2x plus 2y equals negative 2. x is 2, so we'll substitute 2 in for x. Now solve for y. 2 times 2 is 4. Subtract 4 from each side. Divide each side by 2. And y is negative 3. Now write your final answer as an ordered pair. x comma y. 2 comma negative 3. Have your equations lined up. Find a variable with the same coefficient. If the signs are different, add. If the signs are the same, subtract the equations. Solve for the remaining variable, and then substitute into either equation, and solve for the other variable. Number 13. Rima is older than Ken. The difference in their ages is 12, and the sum of their ages is 50. Find the age of each. So we're looking for their ages, so those will be the variables. Let's have R be Rima's age and K can be Ken's age. Now let's create a system of equations that tells this story. The difference of the ages is 12 and since Rima is the older one her age is bigger so it will be R minus K equals 12. The sum of their ages is 50 so r plus k equals 50. Now we have a system of equations to solve. Pick a variable with the same coefficient. We have r with the same coefficient and k has the same coefficient. So take your pick. We'll eliminate the k's. And since the signs are different, we can add these equations together. r plus r is 2r. Negative k plus k is 0, the k is eliminated, equals 12 plus 50 is 62. Now solve for r. Divide both sides by 2, and r is 31. So Rima is 31 years old. Now substitute that in for r into either equation. Let's do the first one. R minus K equals 12. Substitute 31 in for R. And solve for K. Subtract 31 from each side. Negative K equals negative 19 
and divide each side by negative 1, and k is 19. So Ken is 19. Rima is 31, and Ken is 19. Look at the clues in the question. Identify your variables and create your system of equations. Then solve just like any system with elimination. Now we'll do some with elimination with subtraction. The variables with the same coefficient, if the signs are the same, you will subtract the equations. Use elimination to solve each system of equations. Number 1. 6x plus 5y equals 4 and 6x minus 7y equals negative 20. Everything's lined up. The x's have the same coefficient. They're both positive, so the signs are the same, so we'll subtract the equations. Six x minus six x is zero, so the x is eliminated. Five y minus negative seven y is twelve y. Watch your signs there. You're subtracting a negative 7y and minus a negative means add a positive equals 4 minus negative 20 there it is again minus a negative is add a positive so 4 plus 20 is 24 now solve for y divide both sides by 12 and y is 2 now substitute 2 in for y into either equation. Let's do the first one. Put a 2 in for y. And now solve. 5 times 2 is 10. Subtract 10 from each side. And divide both sides by 6 x is negative 1. So make your solution as an ordered pair negative 1 comma 2. x is negative 1 and y is 2. When the signs are the same on the variable you're eliminating subtract the equations. Everything else is the same method. Just remember when the signs are the same subtract the equations. Number 4 negative 3x minus 4y equals negative 23 and negative 3x plus y equals 2. Everything's lined up. Pick a variable with the same coefficient in each equation and that's the x. The coefficients are both negative 3. Since the signs are the same, they're both negative, we'll subtract the equations. Watch your signs when you subtract, especially. Negative 3x minus negative 3x is 0. The x is canceled out and eliminated. Negative 4y minus y is negative 5y. Then your equal sign. Negative 23 minus 2 is negative 25. The x is eliminated. Now solve for y. Divide both sides by negative 5. And y is 5. Now substitute into either equation. We'll do the first one. Substitute 5 in for y. Now solve for x. Negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Add 20 to each side.
and divide both sides by negative 3. So x is 1. Make your answer an ordered pair. 1 comma 5. Number 7. 2a minus 3b equals negative 13. 2a plus 2b equals 7. Everything is lined up, and the a's have the same coefficient. Since they're the same sign, we will subtract the equations. They're both positive, so we'll subtract. 2a minus 2a is 0, so the a is eliminated. Negative 3b minus 2b is negative 5b equals negative 13 minus 7 is negative 20. Now solve for b. Divide both sides by negative 5. b is 4. Now substitute 4 in for b into either equation. We'll do the second one. Put a 4 in for b. Now solve for a. 2 times 4 is 8. Subtract 8 from each side. Divide both sides by 2, and a is negative 1 half. So write your answer as an ordered pair. I know it's not x and y, but you can still go alphabetical, a comma b. It'll be negative 1 half comma 4. So when you solve a system by elimination, make sure everything's lined up your x's, then your y's, then your equals, and then your constants. Pick a variable with the same coefficient in each equation. If the signs on that variable are different, add the equations together. If the signs are the same, subtract the equations. One variable will eliminate and solve for the other variable. Substitute that value into either equation and solve for the remaining variable. And finally, write your answer as an ordered pair.